Are you ready to kickstart your weight loss journey? It's a challenging yet rewarding path to embark on. But before you dive into changing your diet and hitting the gym, there's something crucial you need to do first. The key to successful weight loss journey isn't just about what you eat or how much you exercise, because the journey itself does not begin on your plate or at the gym. It begins in your mind. Hello, my dears, and welcome to my channel. I'm Marina, a registered dietitian who's on a mission to help you conquer the challenges of obesity and set you off on your remarkable weight loss journey. As I walked the path myself, I need to tell you about the vital steps you need to take before you embark on this transformative journey. Today, we are not going to discuss the typical diet or exercise routine because your path to weight loss success isn't just about the foods you eat and the workouts you do. It's about creating a solid foundation and the right mindset. In this video, we'll explore essential steps that will prepare you for a successful journey and ensure you achieve your weight loss goals with confidence. So let's construct this foundation together and dive into the first steps toward healthier you. Step one, answering your whys. Embarking on a weight loss journey can be a bit like heading out on a long road trip. It seems simple on the map, but in reality, there are many twists and turns along the way. Most people lose their motivation with faced with challenges, but you won't. Your secret weapon, your why. Your why is the reason you want to lose the weight and it's your guiding star when going gets tough. Think of it as your GPS in the sometimes stormy weather of weight loss. It will keep you on track and motivated. So let's start by identifying what truly motivates you and keep you moving forward. Why are you making this change and what's driving your determination? Having a strong sense of purpose can have a powerful effect on your ability to make and sustain positive change. Take some time to think about why you want to lose weight. How will it improve your life or your happiness? Will your life be better because of weight loss? What will happen if you lose weight and what if you don't? What will help you get through the tough times? Your whys can be personal, such as wanting to improve your health or feel more confident in your own skin. They can also be more practical, such as wanting to fit into your favorite clothes or be able to participate in physical activities without feeling self-conscious. Maybe you want to stay healthy for your children or perhaps you want to run without pain or maybe you want to reduce your risk for diabetes or rocking those genes. Everyone's got their unique motivation. Remember, intrinsic motivation, those personal interests and values are generally considered the most effective type of motivation. It is also a game changer for making better decisions about your diet and exercise routine. By identifying what motivates you, you can tailor your weight loss plan to better align with your motivations, making it more likely that you will stick to your goals. Finally, it's really important to take the time to sit down with no distractions and honestly define your specific reasons for wanting to lose the weight. Write them down in your own handwriting. Store your whys in a visible place where you can see them often and revisit them whenever you need a boost of motivation. Often reflect on your whys and let them guide you towards success. So, what are your whys? Step two, setting smart goals. All right, let's dive into step two, which is setting smart goals. But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking to shed some pounds. You know the what, lose weight. But it's time to figure out the how. That's where the SMART goals come in. SMART is an acronym and each letter stands for something important. S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, 
R for relevant and T for time bound. By setting clear and achievable goals, you can stay motivated and make progress towards your weight loss goal. Let's break down each aspect of the SMART goal. Specific. Your goal should be crystal clear and specific. No guesswork involved. For example, I want to lose 20 pounds in the next six months is a specific goal. Keep in mind that does not have to be in pounds or kilograms, but it can be something like decreasing waist size. A common measure of abdominal obesity is weight circumference. Reducing waist size can improve overall health and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Or it can simply be, I want to fit in those jeans, but they better not be 20 years old. Measurable. Your goal should be measurable so you can track your progress. In the previous example, the goal was to lose 20 pounds, which is measurable quantity. It's like knowing how much gas you've got left in your car. You can measure your goals. Those jeans, they're pretty measurable too, driving you crazy, right? Attainable. Your goal should be realistic and doable. Losing 20 pounds in 6 months is likely achievable for most people, but losing 50 pounds in the same time frame? Probably a tough climb. Relevant. Your goal should connect to your overall health and well-being. Yeah, fitting in those jeans is cool, but think bigger. How about improving your blood pressure or having more energy? Remember, wise. Time-bound. Your goal should have a deadline. This adds a sense of urgency and helps you stay on track. It's like setting a departure time for your trip. Now, don't stop at weight loss goals. You can create smart goals for other areas of your journey, like tracking your food, sipping more water, or catching some quality sleep. For instance, a specific diet goal could be munching on a serving of veggies or fruits with every meal. It's specific, measurable with your food diary, achievable, relevant for better nutrition, and has a time frame. Though eating your greens should be a lifelong habit. Or let's talk exercise. Say your smart goal is to hit 10,000 steps every day. That's specific, walking, measurable, with your trusty pedometer, achievable, it's a reasonable daily goal, relevant for weight loss, and time bound. Aim to reach it by the end of the month. Grab that pen and paper. Write down your SMART goals. Be specific. Be honest with yourself. This will be your roadmap and your GPS on this weight loss journey, helping you stay focused and motivated. Step 3. Recording current state. Let's move on to step 3, which is recording your current state. But don't worry, this step is more about understanding where you are and less about counting calories. Before beginning your weight loss journey, it is important to have a clear understanding of your current eating habits. Think of it as checking your gas before a long road trip. Getting a realistic picture of your habits is important because if you don't know where are you going wrong, how you are going to fix it. One way to do this is by keeping a food diary. Now, you can go old school with pen and paper, or you can use online tools that can track your calorie and nutrient intake. The goal is to gather data and use it to create a plan that works specifically for you. A food diary can help you spot any sneaky habits. Are you munching on snacks at midnight or eating like there's no tomorrow during meals? Many people struggle to recall what they ate just a few hours ago, let alone the previous day. These patterns might not be easy to remember if you don't write them down. And having a realistic picture of your habits and eating patterns will help you identify areas that need improvement. It may seem like an unnecessary time investment at first, but it's important and it's like knowing your starting point on a map. Imagine heading off on a journey without knowing where you are. You wouldn't know which way to go or how long it will take you to get there. Weight loss, kind of the same. 
So before starting your weight loss journey, take time to understand your current habits. Use Food Diary to gather data on your current status and only then create a plan that works for you. This would not only help you set achievable goals, but also give you the tools you need to effectively navigate your weight loss journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Step four, learn the basics of nutrition. Exploring the fundamentals of nutrition is a key milestone on your journey towards long-term weight loss success. While it's common for people to focus on reducing calorie intake and increasing physical activity, it's crucial to recognize that a calorie deficit is just one, although important, puzzle piece in the weight loss journey. To shed pounds in a healthy and sustainable manner, it's crucial to comprehend how food impacts our bodies. Embracing a deeper knowledge of nutrition opens up a world of informed choices. Instead of relying on a fat diet or restrictive meal plans, we can use our nutritional knowledge to make choices that support our weight loss goal while also meeting our individual nutritional needs. For example, you might choose to emphasize foods rich in protein and fiber as these nutrients can help you feel full and content, ultimately supporting your weight loss endeavors. Or perhaps you opt for full fruits over sugary juices and other similar choices. Nutrition education doesn't just enhance your food choices, it also spotlights the vital role of different nutrients in overall health. You'll discover the significance of incorporating fruits and vegetables, briming with fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which are critical for boosting your immunity and maintaining good health. You also understand the importance of consuming sufficient protein to preserve muscle mass and promote a sense of fullness. By understanding the role that nutrition plays in our overall health, we can make weight loss a part of a larger, holistic approach to wellness. Finally, incorporating nutrition into your overall wellness strategy helps break the emotional ties we have with food. Many of us turn to food for comfort or as a stress reliever. Understanding these emotional connections is an important step in developing a healthier relationship with food. The idea of delving into the world of dietetics might not sound thrilling, but trust me, a little knowledge goes a long way. And don't worry, I'll be here to make the journey of learning about nutrition both enjoyable and accessible in future videos. Step 5. Mastering the emotions and stress roller coaster. Starting a weight loss journey can be a thrilling and empowering experience, but it's important to address any challenges that may arise, such as stress and emotional eating. Understanding and managing stress and emotions play a crucial role in achieving successful and sustainable weight loss. First, let's do some detective work to uncover what sets off your emotional eating. Is it just boredom, the jitters of stress, or perhaps the solitude of loneliness? Once you've cracked the code on your triggers, you can start crafting your very own toolbox of strategies to tackle them. Finding healthy outlets for emotion is important. These methods are as diverse as our favorite ice cream flavors, ranging from mindfulness and meditation, through dance parties in your living room, to conversations that spread positivities like wildfire. Instead of turning to food, try taking a walk, practicing mindfulness, or engaging in a creative activity such as dancing or writing. Sometimes, even distractions can serve as your superhero cape, rescuing you from the grasp of emotional eating. And don't overlook the importance of planning and preparation. They are there to help you make smarter food choices when emotions kick in. Self-care is also crucial in managing stress and emotions. Create a list of activities that bring you joy and relaxation, such as reading a book, taking a bath, or practicing yoga. Engage in these activities when you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. Journaling can also be helpful in understanding the relationship between your emotion and eating habits. Write down what you eat, how you feel, and any triggers that led you to overeating. 
This can help you identify patterns and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Remember, this adventure doesn't have to be a solo expedition. Reach out to your squad of friends, family, or even a seasoned pro to provide you with the backup and guidance you need. Sharing your journey and your struggles with someone who truly listens can be a game changer, giving you the pep talks and encouragement to keep moving forward. It is important to maintain a positive attitude throughout your weight loss journey. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people and celebrate your progress no matter how small. By understanding and managing your stress and emotion and taking holistic approach to wellness, you will be able to achieve your weight loss goal in a healthy and sustainable manner. In conclusion, managing stress and emotion is a critical aspect of successful weight loss journey. By understanding your triggers, practicing self-care, journaling, seeking support, finding healthy outlets for emotions, and maintaining a positive mindset, you'll be able to achieve your weight loss goals in a healthy and sustainable manner. So take a deep breath and be patient and kind to yourself. Step 6. Planning ahead. Once you set your SMART goals, it's time to take it up a notch. A goal without a plan is nothing more than a wish. And if you want to make a significant change to your lifestyle, such as losing weight, planning ahead is critical to your success. We all have our daily routines and it can be challenging to break them, especially when it comes to convenient and tasty treats like grabbing a croissant or ordering a takeout. However, Without a solid plan, your weight loss goals might remain a distant dream. That's why planning ahead is your secret weapon, especially when it comes to your diet. Not only does it boost your efficiency, but also turbocharges your results. Learning how to create a meal plan to support your goal is crucial. Think about incorporating lean proteins, complex carbs, and healthy fats, and don't forget your fruits and veggies. Make a list of your favorite foods from each category and determine the number of meals and snacks you'll need for the day. Then create a sample menu for a week or a few days and make an organized grocery list before heading out to the store. And be sure not to go shopping hungry or you may end up with those extra cookies. If needed, prepare your meals in advance and store them properly. This way, you'll have a backup ready to help you stay on track if your schedule changes unexpectedly. By planning ahead, you can also identify potential obstacles and create a response plan such as packing healthy snacks for a long day of travel. In a nutshell, remember, plan your work, then work your plan. This is your secret sauce for weight loss success. A well thought out plan means less stress, better choices, and no more overeating. So stop wishing for change and start making it happen with a solid plan. And there you have it, my friends. The groundwork has been laid, and now it's time to roll up your sleeves. Remember, weight loss is often a challenging journey, but by taking the time to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally, you're setting yourself up for success. These steps are really too important to skip. Focus on changing your behaviors and plan for victory. Remember, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. But don't worry, I've got your back. I'll be here with you every step of the way, cheering you on and providing you with the tools you need to succeed. Together, we can do this. We can achieve our weight loss goals and we can do it in a healthy and sustainable way. So thank you for watching, my dears. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to please like and subscribe for more tips and tricks on your weight loss journey. And always remember, you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Fingers crossed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.